Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to the Heights and Estates at Palmer Ranch. Now, don't forget, I have my free mobile app again, link right here. You could download it on your phone. It only works mobile, but you get homes as soon as they hit the MLS. So you'll get it before realtor.com, Zillow, sites like that. Free mobile app, go ahead and download it. Let's get into this one. So I know a lot of people are gonna like this tour today. Again, make sure to hit the like button because I put tours out every single day. It really does help out. So if you could do me that huge favor, hit the like button, subscribe. So this one right here, this is the Rose model. Now, single story, four bed, plus study, three bath, three car garage. Now they did a two car garage because they did the optional multi-gen suite. I know a lot of people like the multi-gens, the next gens, all of that good stuff. So it has an apartment. So that's why you'll see the square footage ranging anywhere between 2531 to 2756. So this one is a little over 2700 square feet. We are about as far northwest, or excuse me, northeast as you can go in the entire valley, way, way up at the top. This is a Taylor Morrison built. Now, this one starts at 465,900. The HOA here is 72 a month. It is gated in your lots range anywhere between 10 and 30,000. Now, every single home in here is a single story. So this would be your third car garage. So you would do one of those turn-ins, but they opted for the next or the multi-gen. I guess you can't call it a next gen here. That's a Lennar like trademark. So coming in to the main living area, Nice. Now, if you have any questions, you want to see new homes, you're thinking about buying a new home, do yourself a favor and call a realtor. If you go into the models and talk with the sales associates or you fill out information online, the builder's not going to let you be represented. Fun fact, I know I say it all the time, as the buyer, you do not pay the commission. So if you have questions, all my info down in the description below. I just walked in this one to try to figure it out. I think the door would be right here. So this would be all closed off. This is the next gen, multi-gen, multi-generational. So this is coming in to that separate living quarter, the apartment. Right here, we have our bathroom. I'm kind of surprised and I wanna hear your thoughts. I'm really surprised they did a tub because a lot of times, that's one thing I really like about Lennar. When they do the next gen, it's a shower. Cause I know a lot of people get multi-generational stepping over that tub lip could get challenging. But first we have our vanity. I think this might be the standard stone actually, but undermounted sink. I'm just gonna open it. It looks, yep, just the bumpers. Now, I, I know I joke about it all the time. Oh, my hair, it's so windy today to fix that. I know I joke about these windows and it's like, you can see where it hits me. Uh, yeah, I, I wish they would frost these or at least do something, maybe not do such a low window, but you're definitely gonna want some sort of window treatment or you're gonna say hi to the mailman dropping off the UPS stuff. You do get a medicine cabinet. It's a nice bathroom. Again, tub shower combo, oh, such a fan, soap niche. And I know I joke about it all the time. This is a fiberglass composite material tub. A lot of people actually like this because it's easier to clean. There's no grout lines, nothing like that. But you have your shower head way up there. You have your valve and your tub filler. Hmm, I think this doesn't bug me as much as this just because you could do window treatments on that, but I. I would 100% if they have the option of it available, do a shower. Again, just these little tiny details. It's so close because it's, it's really nice walking in even. Right here, we come into our bedroom and it's a nice size bedroom. You have your full size bed, nightstand. It's kind of interesting that they set it up this way with the bed almost pushed all the way over. But we do have nine foot ceilings, which make it feel even bigger. I believe the can lights are an option. Most builders, you'll get the center one. Sometimes you won't, but the can lights are usually an option. People are asking me more and more, what options should I do? 
I always recommend structural. It's easier to change carpet color, stuff like that, countertops later on, but adding can lights or doing like the covered patio or big sliders, those are more challenging to do later on. But again, very, very nice size room. Like you could almost put a second bed here if you didn't have furniture. We spin around. We have our two door closet slider. Again, you need more storage or more hanging space. You move uh, the bar up, add a second one, you double your closet. And then coming in to the living room portion. I do love these huge windows. Now you're gonna want window treatments on because again, that's the front street right there. But this is nice. You have your couch, your TV, little coffee table, and kitchenette. So that would be your front door. You have a little dining area, refrigerator. This is actually pretty nice stone. And then I'm surprised they didn't put a garbage disposal in here, but I know that's an easy fix. You could put a garbage disposal in there after. They did the uppers. It's nice. It's quaint. Let me know, are you a fan of the next gens? I know a lot of people are, and it's kind of funny. It's either like you love it or you hate it. And I kind of understand why, just because you may not use this space, I understand both reasonings. I'm curious to hear, do you guys like the multi-gen homes? Now, this has upgraded flooring throughout it. Let's go all the way down, work our way back. So, right here we have laundry. 100% upgrade, upgrade. You'll get um, a shelf. And then I don't know if they have a sink for it. They may have that option. And then you have your area for your washer dryer. It's a nice size laundry room, big. I mean, you can see, I wish my laundry room was this big. Mine, you open the door and you're almost hitting the, <laughs> the units. Nice, nice laundry room. We spin, and I do like that they're doing eight foot doors. We come into our next bedroom. Again, can lights, and they just, it helps. There's so much extra light in the room. That is a tall bed. Big window, two nightstands, cool artwork. I don't know, it's like, they're almost like pickup sticks, you know, or like the chopsticks. I don't know if it's looking the same on camera, but not a bad sized room. You could easily just cheat the bed over just a bit, put a desk over there. It needs a tree. But if we come around and go this way, that bed is really high. Then we have our two door slider and we have our dresser. You could easily put even like, it needs like something here, either the tree or maybe a little chair. We do have the record player coming out. Right here we have our next bedroom. Again, can lights, I love it. I wish my house had can lights. I'm actually gonna be putting them in. But full size bed, two nightstands, smaller window, but you have that whole side area over there and again, you could get a desk over there. It's not gonna be huge. It's a fun sports room. Big, big dresser. Raider Nation. And then if we come over here, again, two door slider. These are nice size bedrooms. Let's go ahead, come on out and see the rest of the house. So right here, we have our bathroom. So coming into the bathroom, again, I think this is the standard stone. Little fun fact, again, this is Taylor Morrison. They actually now own William Lyons. Well, it doesn't exist anymore. We have our medicine cabinet. I do like this flooring. And it's a nice size bathroom. We have our toilet. And then our tub shower combo, exact same thing as in the uh, multi-gen, next-gen, the apartment, however you want to call it. It's nice. It feels even bigger because of the taller ceilings. I love the taller ceilings. It just opens up the house. It draws your eyes up. It doesn't feel as claustrophobic. 
Again, right here, that would be our multi-gen living. That is an option. You'll get a study and, um, or excuse me, that would be the other bedroom, I believe. And then you'd have a three car garage. If we come down right here, two car garage, we have some storage right here. And then if we spin, I do like how wide this hallway is. It's nice. It's really nice actually. Right here, this is our study. And this is a nice size room. I, I feel like people would love this right now. I know everyone's working from home. Would you do this as like a formal dining or would you do the office? Or would you do something else? Would you do like a lounge? Would you do like just a, a reading room? This would be cool as a library. I'm gonna come over here. It's a big tree. But again, really nice size room and the can lights. Oh, I love the electrical packages. It's a really big tree. So, coming on out. Let's go find the master bedroom. I don't even know where it is. It's like the first time walking into this home. Nice, big open space. But before we check out the living, dining, kitchen, right here we have our master bedroom. Nice, really, really nice. Wow, that's a huge bed. I, I would need to start to get up on there. King size bed, two nightstands, couch, coffee tables, chair. We do have the tree, nice big windows. It's really, really nice size. It feels really, really open. I like this. Pretty nice. Ooh, look at that shower. So heading into the bathroom, they obviously upgraded this bad boy. Very, very nice. Really nice. So normally you're gonna get separate tub, separate shower. They tiled everything. You have a rain shower head. You have your first shower head. Valves right here. You have a really nice size bench. And they were so close yet so far. So I know I joke about the towel bar, but wouldn't you think it would go right here? Not all the way over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just these little tiny, tiny details. It's so close. Just because I know how it is. I've lived in houses before where it was far away and you almost like end up putting a stool right here. So, or you loop it on the, the handle just because it's, you have to run over here and hope you don't slip and fall. But we have our vanities. I do like them. I really like the shower. I really like the bench. It's nice. And it's a big bathroom too. There's a lot of space. If we spin, right here we have our toilet area. And we have the closet. This is nice. So double bar, single bar, these lights like, I don't know if they're like on a dimmer. It's a little dark in here. Lots of hanging and then this is cool. All of these shelves. So if you want shoes, you know, or you put like all the display boxes, or you fold clothes, that kind of thing. Tons, tons of storage. Coming on out. So heading out into the kitchen, living, dining. Now, if you could do me that huge favor, hit the like button, it really does help out the channel. Make sure to subscribe, but this is a big room. So you have your living space, you have your dining space, and you have your kitchen. I like this, I like this a lot, it's huge. going to pan around. This is a big living room. It's really big. We cut across. We have our dining area and you can put a way bigger dining table than that. I almost wish, and we'll get to this, I wish they extended this out a bit, but I'll show you in a minute. Right here we have our dining area and again, they could have doubled this area. A lot of open space. Now while we're right here, I know I say it in all the videos, just make sure that you need to budget for the backyard. Now I believe it says outdoor living, so I think 
the covered patio and the pavers are included, everything else is gonna be dirt. So it's up to you to finish it however you so choose. Average backyard out here is somewhere between 12 and $15,000. Now, this backyard is mostly rock. It does have some landscaping, it is nice. But just remember that you need a budget for the backyard. And if you put a pool, heater, spa, expect to pay at minimum like $45,000 before landscaping. So again, definitely plan ahead just because a lot of people don't realize that it's gonna be up to you to do it. They see the models, they see all the prettiness. But spinning back around, I really like this room. It's big, it's very open. It feels cozy even, like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like, it feels like home. So, this is what I was talking about with the kitchen. I love how many cabinets there are. I love all the counter space, but I wish they would brought this countertop out to here and may, I don't know, maybe, maybe bar stools or maybe even more cabinets. I know it would get a little bit closer here, but hmm, yeah, I don't know. Cause then it would be really, really a nice big, big island. I do like the pendant lights. So where do we want to start? Let's start over here. So you have your overhang. You could easily fit four bar stools right there. You have a little espresso area. They are doing a phone line right there. So they did the backsplash. You have your cabinets. Now these aren't the taller cabinets, but if we spin right here. We have our locked pantry. Interesting. So I don't know how big the pantry is. I am gonna guess it's a walk-in pantry only because the door opens inward. Normally, if it's like the standard size pantry, the door is gonna open outward. So I'm thinking walk-in pantry. We have our refrigerator. Now they went with the stainless steel package all the way around here. There's a lot of cabinets, a lot of storage. Do really appreciate that. So right here we have our oven. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our microwave, and I always like to check. It does vent outside, so it's not gonna recirculate back in. If we spin right here, dishwasher. And before we get to the sink, you know what, I take it back. I wish they had just shifted the island six inches and maybe even pushed it out six inches. Just because this area is not as bad, but here, let me show you. Like, it's not bad, you can get around, but if you're washing dishes, you can't have someone open the oven behind you. So, just a little bit more space. And then again, same thing right here. If you open up the fridge, you can get around someone, but there's so much extra space out there. I wish they'd just taken this and pushed it a little bit into the, the living room. Let me know what you think about that. Right here we have our sink. Here is your view. I do like this though. You're like in everything. Like you can talk to anyone right here. It's very open. I just, mm, so, so close. I wish maybe eight inches in each direction. Nice home. Let me know what you think about this one. Very curious to hear. Again, if you have any questions, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Love to hear from you. Love to answer anything. Nice kitchen though. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I put new tours out every single day. Don't forget about my mobile app. It's completely free. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.